Happy Monday, friends. Brand new week of meals around here. We are starting out with eggs and toast. Yay, happy Monday. Lunchtime. We are back from a long walk outside. I think we got about two and a half miles in, so I'm always excited about that because it was so cold today. But anyway, lunchtime, and being the selfish pig that I am, I am making my lunch first, <laughs> and that way it's my little mom survival trick, so I can eat while I make everyone else's lunch. So I have a whole pear, half a cup of blueberries, and then this is on this low carb wrap. I like those. I have, it is turkey and roast beef, and I have pickles and banana peppers. It's basically like an Italian wrap. That's going to be my lunch, and then I'm making the kids all of their specially requested plates. Right now, we are having a, a big three to four hour ha top to bottom house cleaning time today because we didn't get it done this weekend. And uh, anyway, they're working on the bedrooms right now, and I'm getting lunch plates ready. This is Travis's, and you ladies out there with meat and cheese loving husbands, you'll appreciate this. So it's on a low carb wrap but then it's just jam-packed with different meats and cheeses and pepperonis, so I think you'll like it. Okay, so here is Mr. Daniel's lunch. He's got ham and Swiss cheese on his sandwich and pepperonis. Miss Amelia, she has cheese and she wanted a pickle and just mustard, three types of meat, and then she has a whole kiwi. She eats those with a spoon and a bunch of blueberries. Oh boy, here you go. Here's Benjamin's lunch. He has kiwi and pear and blueberries, little cheese sandwiches, and some turkey. Okay guys, this is the state of the union at the moment. We just got back from Taekwondo. I made a big pot of Trim Healthy Mama S meal specific chili this weekend. This is the little bit that is left. So I put that in the slow cooker to warm while we were gone at Taekwondo. We've been gone about two hours. And then, I've never done this before, but I had two packs of hot dogs because some of the kids were talking about how they could have chili dogs. And so I put those two packs of hot dogs in my other slow cooker. I think I used my slow cookers one time in December. One day, I know I put two meatloafs in whenever we were gonna be gone looking at houses all day. And today, today is the first time I am using these in January. I, I know that the Instant Pot has a slow cooker function. I got the, spe the slow cooker lid for it, but um, I've used it a few times as a slow cooker and it's still, I don't know, doesn't seem to cook right for me when I try. When I need to use a slow cooker, I just break out the slow cooker. So that's dinner. Happy Tuesday morning. Daniel and I are scrambling eggs. You're gonna see a lot of eggs this week because we got a ton of eggs. We need to use them. Mama's not feeling too creative. Uh, Kids love eggs. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, Daniel is a whiskin. I'm gonna clean it so fast. Then pull it apart. Good, now put it back in Mommy's hand. Good job, good job. <laughs> I know, do you still wanna keep doing it? Uh -huh. Okay. Do it over the bowl. Think, woo! Wow, that was easy. That was good. Good job. Keep your hands over the bowl. Over the bowl. They're sticky and wet. They are sticky and wet. Is it fun? Uh-huh. Putting it over the bowl. There you go. Both, think, both thumbs in, pull it apart, <laughs> and let it drip for a moment. Put your hands over the bowl. Put your hands in the water. So here's our breakfast. We've had some excitement this morning because we've never had blood oranges before and I peeled them and this is what they look like. Isn't that wild? Many of you probably eat them all the time but we've never had them. So this is Benjamin's breakfast plate and yes, he has joined the egg loving club and he will eat all of these eggs. And we've got some blueberries and then I have two of the wedges from the blood orange cut up. He'll probably look at that, maybe lick one. We'll see how it goes. Miss Amelia's and and that's half a kiwi she had left from lunch yesterday. You can slice those and have them ready to go for kids who like to eat them with a spoon. But here's for Miss Amelia. This is Daniel's, and since his brother was feeling ambitious with the blood oranges, he wants a whole bunch too. And this is Liam's, and that's his try. I told him he needed to pick some kind of fruit. We have kiwi, blueberries, pears, apples, bananas, 
these oranges. I feel like there's something else, but that may be it. So he said he would give these a try. And then I'm just having a few scrambled eggs with a piece of Swiss cheese melted on the top. So it is lunchtime around here and we are doing smoothies. And several of the kids have requested PB&J. So I'm also gonna whip up a bunch of PB&Js. I have my second cup of Good and Holy Mama coffee. Don't always get a second cup in, but I'm gonna get one today. And then we have just some of our various smoothie stuff around. We used up the last of our frozen strawberries, which is good because I've been needing to use up this bag. And uh, here's our clump of bananas. Those snap right off for smoothies too. so sad it's like 11 30 at night <laughs> i have everything out i was gonna do the trim healthy mama chocolate muffin in a mug and i just realized i don't have any eggs it's from all those egg breakfasts we've had so far this week or i don't know in the last five days or so uh, there's not an egg left. I thought for sure I had a box of five dozen, so I guess I'm gonna have um, an apple and some almond milk. So as I mentioned last night, so sad, we're out of most breakfast items. I'm out of eggs, out of cereal. I could do pancakes or waffles, but I'm out of syrup. What are the choices? No bagels, uh, but anyway, we have a lot of fruit. And so this morning, like this is Gabriel's plate, two pears and an apple and a half and some peanut butter. And so I've got a whole plate of red apples, whole plate of green apples, more in the bags. And we do have some other fruit in the fridge and obviously those bananas need to fulfill their destiny. So fruit for breakfast today. Tomorrow, when we're out at a trampoline park jumping event for homeschoolers, um, we will probably, I'll probably run into Aldi because I'm doing, sorry, you gotta see talking hand, talk hand right now. Um, I'm doing our big once a month grocery haul next week. I haven't done one of those in a few months. I've just been doing these little weekly trips. So I'm gonna do one more small little weekly trip and then next month I'll go for like four to five weeks at one time. So today is my work day. Travis and the kids are going out doing errands and school and piano lessons and all kinds of things. Uh, so that they are eating something else for lunch. We'll have to ask Travis what that is, but this is my low carb wrap. I've been living off of these for lunch the last few days, so stuffed with lots of meat and cheese and tomatoes. So for dinner tonight, this is a YouTube blessing perk. I've got three big boxes, three big boxes down there from HelloFresh, and I'm getting ready to film a sponsored video for them, a big large family cookup. So I realized now that it's uh, 11 o'clock the following day from when I made all that HelloFresh food, realized I didn't film any of our food today. So uh, what was breakfast? Breakfast was the last of the breakfast available items today. I think we did, what did we even do? Then uh, we went out for a big homeschool activity today and I went to Aldi afterwards and in addition to my grocery haul, I picked up lunch for today that we ate in the van ride home. Then dinner tonight was HelloFresh leftovers and then I'll show you what my midnight snack is. So I am using one of my carb counter tortillas here that I like to use. I can get these at Walmart. I'm using one of those and then this is some of the pork meat mix that I made for tacos with them last night. This was some of the homemade salsa I made per their directions and then this is some sour cream with some um, some lime squeezed into it. So it's very fantabulous and this is what my late night snack is gonna be because I'm going to bed but I'm hungry and this is all still on the lower lower carb side of life. Happy Friday friends. I am getting ready to go out on a big morning hike with one of the older kids. I'm getting some breakfast stuff settled here and then while I'm gone Travis will make sure everyone gets ready and gets the rest of our day rolling because we are going roller skating this afternoon so we gotta get moving this morning. So I was just quickly trying to get Travis and I a few eggs going. This is my, look at my cute little pan here. I made Travis a pile, this is four eggs with some Kerrygold butter, doing two for myself. Just gonna eat this real quick as we're going down the road probably. And uh, 
Anyway, so kids are doing, yesterday I did a, like a one week Aldi grocery shopping haul because we were out of all the breakfast things as I've been talking about. So they're just doing bagels and cream cheese for this morning and uh, yeah, I'll check back in at lunchtime. We are back from a big homeschool afternoon roller skating party and what I'm trying to do now is we still have some things left from my big HelloFresh cook up where I did that sponsored video for them. I had Zion, he did a bunch of turkey and cheese sandwiches and we took pretzels and these little little like cheese stick dipping things and boxes of raisins. So we packed because we knew from the ride home from roller skating back home, we could eat lunch. So for dinner, I'm gonna do um, whatever the kids want that's left from HelloFresh. I'm gonna heat them up individual plates. Travis has gone to take two of the kids to basketball practice. So they'll be heating up whatever, whatever their leftover choices are about 8 p.m. or so this evening. You know how that's go that goes with sports. So here is Liam's choice of leftovers. He's got some meatloaf and some of the roasted potato strips. And then here is Amelia's plate. She also wanted some rice with some gravy. This is Benjamin. Now since we've come home, he's had probably about half a cup of blueberries and some pretzels. Excuse me, he sees me standing here with his plate. Okay, so this is Mama's and I'm gonna use some of the sugar-free ketchup on the meatloaf. Okay, so it's Friday evening and we're getting ready to have a game time. And this is, well that's kind of a sad looking grape. But this is what is left of about, I don't know, two pounds of green grapes. And then we're also, and the kids, we just opened that bag and washed it like, I don't know, 30 minutes ago. We're also doing some homemade popcorn. This is just a little, I don't know, $20 Presto air popper that I got at Walmart a little bit ago. And uh, it, it does well once it gets its first cycle going. And then of course these bags of popcorn kernels are pretty inexpensive. Real exciting and loud in here right now. Okay, giant thing of popcorn now and game time. Okay, late night snack. The kids have four basketball games in the morning. So much going on. I need to go to bed, but I'm a hungry mama. So this is about um, half a cup of blackberries and then one of my low carb wraps with turkey, roast beef, cheese, and some banana peppers, and I have a cheese stick in my hand. Okay, so I missed vlogging food yesterday, and I'm going to show you this, uh, <laughs> this tub of food soaking now while I catch you up. So yesterday, the kids had bagels and cream cheese for breakfast, and then we had four basketball games. So just like I did on our roller skating day, we packed turkey and cheese sandwiches, you know, things we could eat out at the basketball games. And then we went out to celebrate the first games of their season at CeCe's Pizza Bu Buffet. That's right, <laughs> that's where we go for pizza. And so that was yesterday. So today is Sunday and uh, I know we have church and lots of things going on today. So what I have in here, this is the cold water defrost method. It is two pork roast and they are just going to to soak in this cold water for about 30 minutes or so. And I'm going to try, I think what I'm gonna do is put them in the slow cooker. One of my slow cookers, as I say, went to be with Jesus the other day. The pot cracked on it, so I'm down to one. I don't know if I can get both of these in one slow cooker though. So I'm toying with either instant pot or slow cooker. I'd like to do slow cooker though. So when we get home from church, it could be done. So this is, lunch in preparation on this Sunday morning. Okay, we are on our way to church. This mama had, I had a bag of grapes yeah. and I also had a few pieces of deli meat on my way out the door. Okay friends, so it's Monday morning now and I'm wrapping up last week's, <laughs> what we ate this week or large family meals of the week, uh, to start another brand new week. I feel like with some of my large family meals of the week videos, I just don't get enough clips for you guys or I end up skipping a lot. I don't know, let me know if you still wanna see them. Since I'm getting out so many videos now, some days I just forget to put in the memory card to capture the meals. All that to say, I don't know, let me know if you still wanna see all the things we're eating as I can capture them or if you're done with this. Okay, okay, and now I'm I'm off to start a brand new week and fight with this coffee maker. Yay, have a great week, guys.